How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we are doing a review on something you guys have been asking me to review for quite some time. We are reviewing this very cool 2016 Nissan GTR with a Liberty Walk silhouette body kit granted to me by Driven Project. Guys, if you guys don't know who Driven Project is, they go around to children's hospitals, anywhere where kids are battling heavy life challenges and they bring a fleet of supercars to show the kids, let them have fun in, drive them around, let them sit in it and rev it. It's not like other supercar owners where, you know, they just get to take a picture with it. They let them in the car. They let them experience the car, rev the car, turn it on, do all the fun stuff and play with it. And that's very cool of Driven Project. Thank them for letting me borrow this car for the day. But yeah, we are reviewing this GTR. This GTR, like I said previously, is equipped with a Liberty Walk silhouette kit. It is a $54,000 body kit. They picked it up like this. This was the previous owner's configuration, their wheels, their color, their everything. And we'll talk about that in a minute. The R35 GTR is a very beautiful car. This body kit does just flow, but I feel like where it went wrong is with this electrical tape style outline. I think that just looks a little bit cheesy, but the previous owner did that. They also mentioned it looks like the trunk is open because of the electrical tape like silhouette. It's not electrical tape, I'm just calling it that, but it looks like it. It's not though, but it looks like it. It's just a really weird thing to do. I don't know if it's part of the kit. I'm not too knowledgeable about this kit in particular. Apparently it's really expensive and it's really nice, but I just think that if it didn't have that and if the color was maybe a little bit different, this gender reveal blue just isn't my style. If it was like a wine red or something or a white, I think it would look very fire, but there's a lot of little detail on the car. The inside of the barrels are actually paint matched. They're just really dirty because they've been driving the shit out of it. This car came from Canada, so it has quite some mileage on it. Although I think they did trailer it, but it is a long way from home. But yeah, so there's a lot of little detail on the car. I think the body kit is really out there and really in your face. It works if this is your style, but it's just it, it just screams Japanese, which is cool because it's that out there in your face style, kind of similar to, I don't know why I'm having a trouble thinking of it right now, but I'll throw it on screen. Kind of similar to that style, but still very functional and very cool because I mean, everywhere where air should be escaping for better aerodynamics and stuff and stabilization, it is. So it's cool. If it's your style, more power to you. Personally, I like a more subtle and clean look, but this thing definitely gets a lot of attention. The kids love it, and that's what this car is meant for. It's not a race car. This car is meant to make kids smile, and it just succeeds and excels at that. Now, the reason why you guys want me to drive something like this is because of its special feature. Go ahead and hit it. There we go, sitting nice and low. It is on the floor. This car is equipped on bags. Like I said, they took a fully fledged track car slash race car and turned it into one badass show car. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I think bags are my way to go, especially on a car like this. You don't wanna make this static and drive it around this low. I think they really knocked it out of the park where the previous owner did, and it's just sitting really pretty, real low. I mean, <laughs> that, that makes me smile. I mean, I'm not even a huge stance guy or bag guy. And even seeing it sitting on the floor like that, that is very sick. You don't see that every day. Underneath the hood, it has some minor modifications. I don't think it's anything drastic. I know it's not on E85 because Driven Project has to take this across the country. And there's not E85 stations everywhere, but it looks like it's got some minor modifications. It looks like it has some minor modifications. I couldn't tell you exactly what it is. I didn't get in the mod list before I went and did this review, so I am sorry, but lightly modified, heavily exterior modified R35 GTR. And I mean, the intercooler setup too, just sitting right there. Oh, so much airflow is going right on top of that lip. That is pretty sick. So let's go hop in and drive it and let's see how this car handles after having a whole overhaul from a performance car to a show car. Let's see if it's still got some performance car elements in it. Let's see if it's a valid trumpet or not. the first time I heard it it sounds a little trumpety but I guess we'll see under wide open throttle how it sounds and we got to see how it feels so let's go ahead and let's hop in all right so we're driving it and my main goal is to see if taking a performance car like this 
and turning it into a fully fledged show car like this one is now, if that actually does ruin the drivability of it, because that's one thing I've always said on my channel, like when people like do it to WRXs or GTRs is, you take a beautiful, fun performance car and then do that. Can you still have fun in it? Can you still go out and, and send it through corners? I'm not gonna send this one through corners or anything because it's not my car, but we're gonna do a very basic test, see how it is, see how it accelerates, see if it still feels like a, a supercar or if it just feels like a boat now because it's got so much extra weight on it. I mean, it's got 245s in the rear, which is massive, which is cool if you have enough power to use the 245s, but it might just be overkill. It's mainly because of the, the wide body and it looks sick, but that is robbing so much horsepower right there because of all the rotational mass. Uh, anyways, yeah, so we'll see. We're in a little bit of traffic, so once it clears up, we'll do a couple pulls, see how that is, and then uh, we'll, we'll go from there. So we're in really bad stop and go traffic, and so I've been driving it now for what, five minutes maybe? And in normal stop and go traffic, I mean, I'm just gonna review it based on if it was an R35, it's great. The downshifts on this one and the blow off valve sound really sick, I do like that. Uh, haven't had any room to do a pull, so I have no idea if it even moves, but um, I mean, we can do a little like downshift right here. And it sounds nice. The brakes are squealing because they're probably some performance pad or he needs a brake job from uh, <laughs> smoking his brakes, trying to stop those boat anchors of wheels. But I mean, it sounds cool. Like it does sound like a trumpet. She was even saying back when she was in band, this sounds like a trumpet. Like, so a band expert herself, certified trumpet. So it is what it is. But that's one thing that you get with Nissan is you know, not only do you get a radio, but you get a live performance coming out the back. So, very cool. Uh, Louis Armstrong back there, you know? So, yeah, when we get room, we'll do a poll because that's what you guys all want to see. Let's wait till that. We have a little bit of room right here. I'm gonna do a downshift. Do a few downshifts, I guess I should say. Um, I wanna do a slow roll. Oh, wow, we were, we were, that might not be accurate. No, yeah, it's definitely not accurate. Sorry, it was in kilometers. I was like, we're doing 100 plus. All right, we'll got it. So that was quick. It was pretty quick. Okay, I'll give it that. But how would I describe that? That felt like it felt faster than a stock Mustang, but it doesn't feel as fast as like a lightly modified Mustang. I don't know how to describe it. And I think it's because of the giant boat anchor wheels. Like it felt quick, but I wasn't like being shoved into my seat. Like the WAP felt like it was quicker. I don't think the WAP would beat this. I just think this might be either be a better car as in it doesn't, you know, translate speed as much. Where like 100 miles an hour in my Supra feels gnarly. 100 miles, miles an hour in my McLaren or this probably don't feel like anything because these cars can do a lot more, so. I don't know how to describe it. It just didn't feel, I wasn't pushing me in my seat. If this car was full bolt-on E85, and in this configuration, I think it would be plenty of fun. But I understand why they can't do that, because they're driving across the country. It's not meant for that, it is what it is. But uh, maybe we can get another pull in, because I kind of want to see. Are you show the road? Yeah, you can, uh, you, you can try to show the speedo in the road. Yeah, like hold it behind me. expect, I guess, a supercar, a $100,000 plus supercar to feel like. I don't know what 2016s go for. I know that's right before the 2017s, which is the one that you want. 2017 and up, I guess I should say, because of the transmission issue. So I know that this will probably be a little bit less than 100000 Not, I mean, with the body kit and everything, I'm sure it's well over, but you get what I'm saying. Like, this isn't the, the cream of the crop GTR that you would want for a performance one because it's a sub 17. So I'm gonna try the all wheel drive system and just like, I'm, I'm gonna roll into it on first, but I'm gonna send it. 
because I think that's where this car is gonna excel at, being all-wheel drive. So once I see that it's clear enough, I'm gonna do it, so let's see. because of what it has attached to it, you know? Not even the body kit, it's mainly just the wheels. If you threw on some like Dimag carbon uh, wheels to make up for how wide they are, I think it would feel fast as shit. But these things look like they weigh 50 plus pounds and that's being generous. I feel like they weigh way more than that because it's probably a 20 by like 14. So, do that again. definitely a little sluggish where I feel like the McLaren which is the only thing I can really you know compare it to because it's the only other supercar I've ever driven the McLaren I feel like is really pushing you in your seat and like you get the feeling in your stomach of like oh fuck you know and she can she can confirm that because to this day it's still stock and she screams every time I'm in a first gear second gear pull she just throws her feet up and uh, puts them on my dash and then she walks home from there. So uh, yeah, so I mean, it's fast. I just think the wheels and the body kit just aren't my style. And the wing. And well, that's part of the body kit, but yeah. But other than that though, like I could see this being a very fun car and like whoever gets to drive this across the country to go show it to kids and everything, like they're gonna have fun driving it because it's still a very fun car to drive. I just, you know, for me, I like pure performance. I don't care if I'm sacrifice if I'm sacrificing a little bit of looks for performance. I'd rather have my car perform as great as possible. So that's just me. You guys know I'm super anal about that shit. So car's super fun. We're running out of daylight. We'll head back to the house and we'll wrap this up. Um, but it, it's a very fun car. Uh, we can maybe get one more pull in. We, we're kind of burning this area because I guarantee you, everyone right now is calling into the police station. We have a rogue marching band marching through the street sorry oh that's one thing i don't like okay so if i'm correct on the mclaren when you turn the wheel the paddles move with it you know so when you're in your grips you could like right now i was trying to to upshift on a turn and my hands were up here and I, I, I don't know you could probably i'll zoom in and you can probably see my hand like reaching that's weird i don't like that paddles should totally move with it or you should extend them a lot more I think my McLaren ones move. I'm like 99% sure because I've never experienced that issue before. So yeah, they gotta move. So anyways, yeah, one little complaint right there, but that's Nissan. I'm gonna wait till these cars pass. I don't like them.
All right, so I went ahead and slept on it. I wanted my opinion to be thought about thoroughly. I didn't want to just impulsively say, yeah, car fun, R35, cool. And I didn't want to say that. So the car, the R35 in general is a cool car. And this car gave me a little glimpse of what it can do. And that's the keyword, glimpse. I don't think I got the full experience of the uh, R35. Did I say R34 earlier? I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Anyways, this car gave me a glimpse of what the R35 can do. And this R35 was fun. It was, it was sick, but it can only do what I did and a little bit more. Like, would I take this R35 to a canyon? No, the bag system is the biggest problem in that. Would I take this R35 racing? Probably not because of the bag system. I just don't trust bags. I think that they would explode at certain load or eventually give out or deflate and then you're screwed. So I just I wouldn't trust it. This car was extremely fun to drive for what it is and I thought it was going to be slower than it actually was. So that was a little bit of a surprise to me. But at the end of the day, it's a neutered version of what the R35 can be. I feel like a stock R35 would have been much more fun because I could have actually gone and took in some corners and actually had fun with the all-wheel drive system. This is a glorified show car at the end of the day. I know what its purpose is, and that's fine, um, but I'm just saying. When it comes to my opinion on the car, I think that uh, it's taken away a little bit by the mods that this specific car has. Would I like to go drive it some more? Yeah, I, I would enjoy to drive that car some more. But uh, would I prefer that one or a bone stock 2019? I'm taking the bone stock 2019 all day. So thank you, Driven Project guys. I'll link them below. Thank you, Will, my roommate, for giving me the opportunity to drive this car. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. Until next video, peace.